welcome back to Bocce Aviation. Today we're going to do straight away kind of for my usual content and we're going to review the new Miami location for the airplane shop. Really cool to see the new location. I've already been to the old location before but it's really cool to see the new location. Uh, maybe this was I believe this was like a few months oh no a few weeks after they moved to this, this new location so really cool to see this and to see this period of time. And I got some great footage of some model airplanes that I know I'm interested in and you're interested in. And to review and tell you how nice this, this store is. And it's just a surreal experience and it's such a treat to sh share with all of you. Well, without further ado, we're getting into the review of the beautiful new Miami, the airplane shop location. We'll start with the review off, of course, at the entrance of the airplane shop, New Miami location. It's not very pretty, the door, anything, or the location, but we're not, of course, here for the building. We're for the model airplanes. Let's get inside. So far, here is uh, the models under the glass. There were just so many beautiful GMI Jets 1-400 models, ready from Delta to Wizard to United Airlines, and they were just such beautiful models, and it was such a beautiful thing to see there on top of the glass there were these beautiful beautiful men here we have a Pilatus pc12 and like this military hybrid it was just such a cool thing and also there is the the brand new piper pas up on the show just such a cool thing there is also herpa wings models which they were nice i'm not into herpa that much but it's really cool to see a bunch of uh, military planes here and just really cool to see these models here over here we have all the gmi just 200 in flight 200s uh aviation no aviation um herpo 1200s it was so cool to see all these models here delta 767 300s there were sky all these beautiful sky marks planes didn't get a sky marks plane but just awesome just so beautiful to see like especially over there the delta 8350 such a beautiful model very just such a nice models and over here we have some like post distance models just so cool here we have like more post distance models and here where they had uh the herpa wings on 200s the in-flight 200s and sky marks uh one 100 just such cool models that i really wanted to get just didn't have the budget for them of course just can't have that much money we of course here have some more uh one you might just want 400 here's other airlines like look at that breeze 8320 Aeroflot A321, and CO, and just so many cool models that I wanted to get, but of course, you can't bring all the models, you're like limited in space. Here we have again another view of all the Herpa Wings models, and you can see much better detail. Again, there's some uh, British Airways Concords, there's the Air Force One, which is like really cool. Already have the Air Force One, but just such cool models see here. Here we uh, have another shot of the Gemi Just 200s. There's some cool models. There was a lot of Alaskan planes, but there's some other cool ones like the um, uh, Dreamlifter, of course, and oh yeah, the Breeze A220. I actually saw that out of the box. It was just such a cool model to see here. Uh, incredible experience. Such a cool place to be. And I could have stayed here for hours, but of course you have to come back uh, to your hotel room. And there's just some awesome models like this American 77, 800 and a hundred dollars. Wow. Yeah, that's one thing we're getting into after the video. Okay, we're gonna get to the pictures we have here. The Herpa Wing Herpa lineup. We have the Herpa Lufthansa A380. Aeroflot A350, tr some 777s, looks like an Et Etihad 787-10, just such cool models, and look, an Asiana A350-900, just such a cool lineup of planes, and the next shot here, we have some like Azul, it's on A330-900, the US Air Force, the Qatar Airways, the Leon models, just such cool models, and I wish I could have got some of them with me. Here we have some more models. Looks like a Swiss A220, Aer Lingus A330, a tanker model. Sally, I didn't get any 1200s. I didn't, I returned back and I didn't have any room in the, in my luggage. So Sally, I couldn't get any more models. I could only get like a, a few models. Here we have some, uh, uh, here's the in-flight 200s. We have some, look at that, the DHL 767 with that gold 
uh, 77 Max and that Concord over there. Just such cool models to see there. And all those herpo wings at the top. Just such a cool thing. And here we have the Poche Sense models. There's like a bunch of models. There's like DC 10s, Concords, uh, Airbus Belugas. Uh, what else was there? Like B, uh, some like World War II planes. Just so cool. And here at the next shot, we have these beautiful Beluga. I was super tempted to get the Beluga. I ended up not getting him, but just such a cool model to see. Just incredible. Here on the wall, we had like um, more toys or stuff for uh, these type of collections, like Darren. If you're a collector of Darren, like it's cool. You can see not that there's not that much of variety, but just still really cool to see all this stuff here. Not into this stuff, but really cool for people who like it. Here we have the Herpa Wings 1500s. Look at that brand if uh, BAC 111, just such a cool, beautiful model to see. And there were some like Delta models, just super cool to see. Didn't get any Herpa models. They were insanely expensive. A 1500 model was like $60. Next here we have, oh, just that actually just came in. They were packing with all these Delta 77900s in the special livery, just such a cool sight to see. You don't see this many models usually. Next here we have an uh, overview. Uh, you can see over there, there's the, some Pan Am t-shirts, all the 1400 models, and of course the box in the mountain. Such a beautiful picture, just displaying what there is really at this store. Just such a cool experience. Flyers, anything you want under the sun, just such a awesome place to be. Next here we have this, uh, we have the Phoenix models. We have Cargo Lux 747 400 in the vintage called China Airlines Boeing 747 400. It looks like some E380s down there and Etihad and normal livery aircraft. Just really cool to see those models here, of course. Next model up here was something I really want to see was my first flaps down experience. This was the Western Global 747 400 flaps down. In the end, I was left off with this beautiful Gemini Jets 1400 Hop Hog Lloyd 737-800, this model. I've been wanting it for a long time. My first model was the Harpo Wings 1500 Hop Hog Lloyd 737-800, and I've lost this model at the time of this recording, and I can't find it, so I'll have this this model, of course, as like a substitute. This model is really special to me, so I decided to get it. I thought it was 20 bucks, so it was a cheap model, pretty good price, I gotta say. Uh, yeah, like on eBay it usually sells around this price too, but seeing it in person I decided to get this model and overall it was a beautiful model that I ended up getting in the end. My final thoughts on the new Miami location. It is a beautiful uh, look, new location. It is not as good as of course the old location, but it's still a good place for any aviator to be, especially for new upcoming aviators for them to see what model airplanes they want to collect and what are the different scales and brands. For long-term aviators, it's not really viable because they usually offer higher prices than online, but it's a, it's one of those places that you want to come maybe two, three times a year just to experience like what a physical store is. Overall, a cool place to hang out. And that's my final thoughts. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next time. Let's roll the outro. Yeah.